Hi, my name is Logan Titus. Uh, I am a senior here at the Greencastle Antrim High School. Uh, this is my third year working in the auditorium and my first year as supervisor of the auditorium tech. So um, my job entails uh, many different tasks, including maintenance, meetings, uh, different events scheduled throughout the weeks, and um, and that's about it, you know, just come in and work. Um, for the basic, the standard event that we usually go through is um, an assembly. Uh, for an assembly, it usually just requires the podium, a microphone, and the projector, and possibly sound with the projector video if there is a video at all. It's stressful at times. I mean, you got to deal with other people, but I deal with people a lot. So, working with people, eventually you got to get used to them, you got to relate to their scenarios, you got to think about people from their perspectives. And doing that, a little calm, still a stressful job. For the most part, though, the activities and what you do are not that hard. Um, for the most part, it's just switching out some LEDs every once in a while when the lamp burns out. Pretty basic stuff, working the ropes, working backstage. Uh, I thought it was really good. It. Uh was a, a good stepping stone for his interest in film and understanding uh, all the aspects of it behind the scenes. And I really like the idea of him developing his skills and then taking on a leadership position uh, and running a team. All valuable skills uh, for the future. Um, yeah, my first year in the auditorium tech, it was really rough. Um, my, my old supervisor, Randy, um, he had a lot of high expectations for us new guys, and it was very hard to meet those expectations, especially early on when I was still learning. Uh, you know, I just remember, you know, every day it was just, it was just, I just worried like the whole time, you know, like, holy crap, you know, am I, am I gonna be able to do this? You know, what's Randy gonna say, you know? Like, am I gonna get in trouble? And it just, you know, it was a very rough year, especially with the play and the larger shows. Like, the meetings were fine. The meetings were always good. But it was never, you know, like, it was just so hard to, to become something that you weren't yet. You know, you, I'm not, you know, the best I can be. And, you know, my self-esteem also that year was pretty low, too. Like, it was really hard to talk to people, to, you know, get to know people, to commit to, you know, such a socially taxing job, you know, but, you know, it all worked out in the end. Um, I will say, though, at the end of my freshman year, uh, there was Old Home Week, um, and that just, that saved my butt. Um, it was during the summer in um, late um, July, I believe, and we came in here, uh, the Old Home Week people came in, and we worked tirelessly to make sure the show was good. Austin was here. And it was like the best experience I've ever had. Like I did the same job I did um, during the musical. Um, you know, nobody was stressed out. Like everybody was nice, everybody was kind. And I learned a great deal about that experience. And that really helped me in my junior year, you know, my second year, where I really had to step up. Um, in my junior year, uh, it was still a little rough. Uh, it was much better. Like I was able to do pretty much everything, you know, with ease. Um, the only exception, of course, being uh, the school musical, which um, that year I had to um, I had to run the light board, and it was just this whole thing because Mr. Carly would like lose his mind when something was messed up, and I'd be like, Ooh, you know, like what in the world? am I supposed to do about something like this? Um, you know, like it was extremely stressful. It was just, it was awful. And then they had Shrek and his stupid mask that just, you know, like we lost four microphones to the mask alone. I mean, you know, the way it squished, you know, the equipment in, into, into next to his head, you know, and and it was just this, you know, oh, this is awful experience. Like, I think it's probably the worst one I've ever had because, like, I was sitting in the back, 
you know, sweating up a storm, ready to, you know, crap myself because somebody was going to yell at me for something. Yeah, I was out of my control and it, you know, it was just a, it was just such a rough time. But I mean, otherwise, you know, I'd say it was a great year. Um, it was okay. I mean, you know, there wasn't any issue. There wasn't as many issues as I had heard about last year. So that was good. Uh, what do you think of your older brother Logan as a leader? I think he's bad at it. <laughs> yeah, I made a bunch of new friends. Uh, you know, Bobby and Ryan came in and helped out a bunch. Uh, Randy was much better. Um, you know, like him taking internship, you know, like really helped level out his expectations and, and everything. Um, yeah, you know, just a hard knock life. Hey, I thought it was a, a great experience. Um, it really empowered Logan, um, which is a, a really uh, good trait <clears throat> to have or, or to be something, you know, to have that uh, ability. Uh, and I think it uh, will, you know, go a long way in terms of his future at Penn State and filmmaking. Uh, my least favorite experience um, would have to be the Christmas choir concert from my sophomore year. So, like, I get up, and I had completely forgotten that there was this choir concert right in the morning. So, like, and it appeared that Randy had almost, you know, was, like, rushing around, like, holy crap, you know, we got they, they're asking for a bunch of stuff. I'm like, uh, you know, and this was at a time when I, my self-esteem was so low, I had no idea what I was doing, so I started panicking, and just everything went worse. But, you know, about halfway through the show, Mrs. Bingham says, hey, you know, we need an extra mic on the stage. And I was like, and Randy was like, okay, you know, Logan, why don't you go do that? And I was like, oh God, okay. So I had to walk up on stage during a transition in front of the whole school. I get up there, and because I'm so stressed out, like, I set up the microphone wrong the mic stand and it's just awful like I walk down from the stage and I hear a thud and I was like oh god so I turn around and so I like sprint up there I grab the mic I run back down I run to the side and I'm like sweating I'm like freaking out then I run up to Randy he's all mad he's like you know what's wrong with this thing and I'm just like I don't know and then I managed to get it fixed and everything but it was just it was so embarrassing that I've just never ever you know been through anything like that that just killed me you know like just self-esteem wise i was i was dead after that you know like i didn't even know if i was going to continue the job after that you know how how much of a panic i went into but i mean it, it all worked out in the end but it was just yeah you know that was that was not a good experience uh did i think um I did a good job this year. I feel like I did. Um, you know, I've, I feel like I've greatly contributed to the auditorium, like at least staff wise. Like I, you know, came up with these posters. I spent the time to find as many new employees as I could. I got four new guys that I absolutely respect and, and admire. And I feel like, you know, like this auditorium is in good hands. For years to come you know i can feel like i can walk away and you know not have to look over my shoulder you know um other stuff i mean you know i really i fixed up a good many things uh, i got some new equipment you know i've been working tirelessly with mr crable to make sure that this place is up to par you know and i just feel like you know, like the auditorium is in, is in a good place right now. And I feel that, yes, I am partially responsible for that. Like if I wasn't here, this place probably would have gone asunder, I would say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, it was just, it was a great year. I mean, this is probably my best year, my best play ever. Um, you know, I've never had I've never really had a bad show. I've never really had a bad experience. Um, 
and my employees who will become their own employee, you know, they will become their own managers pretty much next year. Either Owen or Darsh are going to become the new supervisor. Um, is basically, you know, just this whole spiel of, yeah, you know, I think it's going to be great. And I think, I think it has been great and I think it will be.